Hey yo, y'all, it is Brian here. The game is over now between the Niners and the Seahawks. NFC West matchup, and we lost, yes, unfortunately, 28-21. to They were all trying to make a little bit of a comeback onside kick, but it didn't work out. You know, I mean, there was a lot of good things to take into account. There was a lot of bad to take into account, more of that actually in this game i mean the big losers for me definitely trenton cannon i mean he was doing okay but then that muff punt whatever you want to call it, kick return that really turned the game around that was probably the thing that really gave seattle all the momentum to win the game and in fact they did win the game jimmy garoppolo i thought he took a little bit of an l he did have that early touchdown to dwelly but then after that he struggled big time and it ended up getting hurt calf injury trey lance came in the game he struggled a little bit but i mean what do you expect he just didn't even know he was going to play a whole half essentially and he did pretty well he had the touchdown at the end and looking very promising the way he runs the ball it, it looks pretty cool i mean he's like a slithering snake running around moving around like that and then him to connect to debo samuel that, that's awesome two times actually two times so i'm proud of that debo actually is on my fantasy team gave me 37 points which is amazing right there so you know he gets a big win on my book for him as my favorite player and also on my fantasy team too but overall i mean if i had to give a grade for the point errors i'd probably give it a c average i know that sounds kind of weird to give him a c for a big loss performance but at the same time i mean trey lance is he gonna be the starter this week maybe maybe not we'll see but do you go back to jimmy garoppolo I'd still love me some Jimmy G, but, it, you know, the the way it turned out today, it might be the end of Jimmy G. I, it's too hard to tell Kyle Shanahan. He's probably going to have to think about this overnight to see who he's going to start against Arizona next week as the starter for the 49ers. But with Trey Lance playing with pretty much no time to practice or anything like that, to not even know he's going to play a, a whole half, I thought he played really well. Some of you guys might disagree with me, but I think it's very encouraging to see what he did on the field. He, You know, he, he's good at running the ball. He can throw the ball effectively when he can, but he throws the ball a little too hard, and sometimes he misses wide-open receivers, but he's trying to run the ball as much as he can. He got to work on that if he is indeed going to be the starter. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I mean, very disappointed that we lost yet again, especially to an NFC West rival. I'm always telling you guys, you know, when Seattle, when they are on a losing streak, every time they play us, they always feel revitalized for whatever reason, and that's exactly what happened in this game. I really thought... The way the defense was playing early on, we were just going to dominate Russell Wilson all day and that whole offense. But it just didn't happen. Oh, man. You know, it sucks. It really sucks to lose right here. And also, we lost in the injury department, too. I mean, injuries, we always got to talk about it. It's always an issue for the 49ers. And this game was no different at all with Alex Mack having a little hand injury. Trent Williams getting out a little bit. Javon Kinlaw getting out a little bit. Trent, Jimmy, even Jimmy G getting hurt a little bit. George Kittle aggravating his even more and even Robbie Gold our kicker was out Mitch Wisnowski they had to try to get him to kick which I think he made one extra point then missed a field goal or an extra point whatever it was so you know a lot of mistakes and then that pass interference that Drake Kirkpatrick have I don't I don't know if it's the greatest call but it is a pass interference and that's like the 20th pass interference that we got all season long probably exaggerating right there but yeah, I mean, the 49ers beat themselves essentially in this game, but credit to Seattle. They were able to make some plays and take advantage of the stuff that the 49ers made mistakes of, and that's what you got to pretty much do if you're a winning team, right? So both teams are 2-2. Two and two. 49ers are last place in the West. I know, right? That's kind of weird to say that we're the worst team in the West. I thought Arizona was going to be the worst team, but they look like they're going to be the best team in the West, and I hope we can come with, with an upset next week. Yep. I love you guys. I love you all, Niner faithful. I still love the 49ers, but got to get their act together. I mean, it's not completely the end of the world, but if they lose to Arizona next week, it might be the end of the world for 2021. So, you know, I don't want to be too pessimistic about it, but it's not looking good, especially after this game. So, bye, guys. Love y'all. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, and I'll catch you guys up tomorrow for Position Edge against the Arizona Cardinals. See ya.